So, hey guys, I already see so many people in the room and that is very exciting to me and a lot of you are already talking to me before the show starts or started. So if you haven't said hello or if you are new here, which I know some of you are because I talked to you on Twitter and this is your first time here, just go ahead and give me a shout out and tell me where you are watching from and then I will give you a shout out back. Um, I have gotten a lot of tweets about last night's episode, so I just want to start off by saying I've gotten actually a lot of negative tweets, and people were telling me they were very disappointed in the episode, they feel like it was a slow episode, like it was a filler episode, and they were upset. So if you were one of those people, then let me know why it upset you, and if you loved it, because I'm also seeing people who loved it, you can also tell me why you loved it. Um, I do think there were several key things that happened and that were important, so I don't feel like it was a dead episode, and I have some key points that I wanna to talk to you guys about, but a lot of you have already started talking about what you want to talk about in the comments. I'm going to go to those now to see what we can start talking about here. Um, Nancy is answering my question. What's up, Nancy? She says that a lot of people are saying this is a filler episode and they're mad because of it, but she says this episode was solely for us to see how each girl is coping with what happened to them and that the episode was needed. Yeah, so we saw how the time in the dollhouse affected them. And you know, their time in the dollhouse wasn't very long, but when you think about the time that Sarah spent in there, like years, I mean, just imagine how traumatized she is. On another note, I don't trust Sarah. A lot of you were tweeting me last night and today that you don't trust her. I'm with you on that. Um, I still feel like she's Sarah and not Bethany, but I know some of you disagree, but you know, that's how it is. Um, some of you are saying in the comments that you liked it. David loved it. Geneva says she doesn't think it was as bad as people are saying. Um, Jade is wanting to see more of what happened to them and feel like they didn't show enough. Yeah, we really didn't see a lot. It was pretty much like the aftermath. Sheena is finally here from West Virginia. So, hey, Sheena. Uh, Georgia from Wales. Um, great to see you here, Georgia. And Nikki and Tamari and Kat. Awesome. Kat is home watching the episode. Um, it was her fave because just seeing the flashbacks of the girls helped me a lot. And Nikki thinks that Sarah is Bethany. Okay. Um, Let's talk about that a little bit, and then we'll talk more about what happened last night. Like, why are some of you still thinking that Sarah is Bethany? I'm open to whatever you want to say. Um, hello to Laura, to Rafaela from Brazil. Um, all right, so Rafaela says that she's tired too. The show has had enough, has enough characters, because I said earlier before the show started, we have a new character um, who was introduced last night, Lorenzo, who is a police officer. And it looks like this is going to be a love interest for Allie. And I'm getting a lot of mixed uh, reviews about his appearance because when I first saw him, I was like, okay, this show is really, you know, it's not going to be on for that much longer. And I'm kind of tired of new people at this point. Now, I'm going to be interested to see what they do with him. But to be honest, I feel like he's going to be a love interest for Allie. I don't know where that's going to go. I hope he's someone trustworthy. I'm not only am I tired of new people, but I'm tired of new new people who they want to make us think is shady and then they aren't. Case in point, Andrew, who obviously is not Charles. I'm sorry. I'm not buying it. You know, he was arrested and all that, but he's totally not Charles, which I've been saying for a long time. I'm just so tired of them always putting the blame on someone and then it's not someone because that's a total distraction. So Shalisa says this episode didn't need to be action-packed, but needed to answer more questions. I completely agree with you, Shalisa. I don't have to have like people killed or anything in the second episode of a new season, but I still, still feel like we're just getting thrown more things that are, like we're actually having more questions after every episode rather than getting information. There was one piece of information that wasn't like specific near the end, which I'll get to in a little bit, which I felt was a huge clue. We'll get to that here in a little bit. Karen is from Manchester. Um, Georgia thinks Lorenzo is shady. I'm going to go with you on that. Although I've seen a lot of people think that, a lot of people who think that um, Lorenzo is going to be good for Allie. Who knows? Uh, Rebecca says she's going to be upset if A is Lorenzo. I will probably throw my TV out the window. I think I've said that about other things, but that's ridiculous. We just met the guy. Please don't tell me that he has been trolled all along. Please. So Nikki says that she thinks Hannah has a twin who is A. Um, she knows people are thinking Charles is a boy. Do we do we really know that? Hannah's smart enough to do something like that. Marlene confirmed someone has a twin. Um, you know what? And I don't know how accurate this was, but I think it was uh, on Facebook. One of you 
was telling me that they you zoomed in last week um, on like the picture of the babies and it said something about Bethany and Jason being the babies. So therefore perhaps they're the twins. Did anyone else catch this from last week's episode? Because that was pretty big and somehow I missed that. All right. Kay says, I think that Sarah is not Bethany. It would just be annoying for someone who is supposed to be dead to be alive. Also her being found would be all over the news. So they know it wasn't her. Uh, I, I also agree. I think she is Sarah. Jardy says, hey. So, hey, what's up, Jardy? And George is asking, what do I think the deal is with all the girls in the yellow tops? What I think the deal is, is that Charles wants to recreate the night that Allison disappeared. And I think he wants to have, like, fill in Allison. So, I think that Sarah was an Allison for him. And I think that Mona was an Allison for him. And he's probably looking for a new Allison because I think he's that demented. He's super obsessed with um, Allison. And I don't know why because we don't know why yet. Okay, um, Ralia, maybe, doesn't think Lorenzo is A, but they will be a couple. I'm seriously hoping you're right. I, I really don't think they're going to go with that. I don't think Lorenzo is going to be Charles, but I do see them going with uh, Allie dating Lorenzo. David hated that Mona wasn't in this episode. Yeah, it's been nice to have her back and to see, like, so much more of her. So I think she'll probably be back. She'll probably be back even next episode. So Kay says, last night she thought Lorenzo might have something to do with Maya, but that's a huge stretch. Okay, could be a relative, you never know. Livy says that Arya was shady. That is one of my points, and now your comment has gone up because there's so many comments, and that's great. Um, but Arya, to me, was so shady. I know this is something tiny, but um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I, I'm Kelly underscore TV. Follow me because I live tweet every episode and do that so that you can live tweet along with me next week and all the weeks after that. But I was talking about how Aria was using the camera. I was talking about that on Twitter last night. And I know that's tiny and subtle, but guys, I mean, if you've watched any of my theory videos, A is someone who we always see like taking pictures of the girls and developing film. We're talking about film, not like digital cameras and Phone, you know, your iPhone camera. And I just think that that was kind of a little hint to say Aria may be doing something she shouldn't be. Maybe on the A team, maybe part of Ezria. You guys know how much I want Ezra to be A. So anyway, but the biggest thing that was obvious with her was her outing Andrew for being A, completely lying. Why? I don't get that. Obviously, you know, you know, that wasn't true. And to me, I just feel like that kind of shows all of us that we can't trust her. And, you know, I think she was kind of covering possibly for herself or Ezra or someone else. So Deja says she was not as upset as other people, maybe because of her lowered expectations, which I've talked to Deja about this on Twitter before. And sadly, I've kind of gotten to be that way with the show because I don't expect a lot just because they always tell us big things are going to happen and then they usually never do so I'm kind of with you on that um so I see that I see how you could be not expecting stuff and that's kind of how I was so I, I didn't hate last night's episode but I didn't think it was amazing either but you guys have to think it's the second episode of season six we're not even in the final season yet they are going to have some slower episodes let's compare this episode though to previous seasons guys there have been some episodes where like literally nothing happens and there's no clues and maybe like a like send some crazy text so we'll just think about it that way so Libby says that Arya doesn't seem as scared as the rest of them I totally agree with you I just I don't know if the show is like trying to make us think that she you know they're trying to make her look like a villain here but I just felt like her behavior was off the charts weird and shady and it goes along with a lot of the research that I've done when I was trying to figure out who was Charles and it made me think like when I did the Ezria video uh, that that is probably why she was acting so weird and I did theory of videos on several of the characters so if you're not subscribed to my channel uh, please do that so you can go back and watch the videos I did over the last few weeks about who could be Charles and then so you can always catch these shows because even when these are, when we were finished here live these are saved on my channel, so you can go back if you come in late or if you have to leave early. So, um, Ralia, I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm to correct me if so. Aria was being jumpy this episode, like Radley material, and I've still always believed, very good point there, but I still always have believed that she was once a patient at Radley because Eddie Lamb recognized her, guys. That was a huge clue. Of course, that was a couple of seasons ago, and we don't know where the heck he is now, but that is definitely something. Nikki says season three finale sucked. Yeah, I mean, there's been so many episodes. It just weren't that awesome. Sheena says Andrew might be Charles' half-brother or something to that effect. Ken totally lied to Allison. Can't believe 
Uh, she believed her dad. Me either. He was totally lying. I didn't believe him for a second and can't wait for, can't wait for Jason to spill. I know. I love the promo for next week's episode because apparently Jason is going to tell us all who Charles De Laurentiis is. It looks like there was an album where there were some pictures missing, which might be Charles and the way that we know Charles, you know, when Charles was a little bit older. So if we saw those pictures, we might know who it is. What I wanted to point out to all of you is that they showed the picture of the baby with sparkling bright blue eyes. Um, there have been so many references to A in this show about having beautiful eyes. And we know that Ezra has those eyes. And to me, that was a complete shout out to Ezra and a clue that I think it's pretty huge. And if not, I think it's definitely, if it's not Ezra, it's someone with very pretty distinctive eyes because we were seeing the, ch the child picture and the baby picture of Charles. So uh, this person has really beautiful eyes. I think that's such a huge clue. Um, and then someone pointed out to me on Twitter that Charles could be wearing colored contacts. So yes. So it doesn't mean that we're going to be able to look at all the characters and be like, who doesn't have, you know, who has blue eyes like that? That's totally going to be Charles. So someone could be trying to hide their identity by that. What do I think the weird conversation with Toby and Allie was about? Ask Emma. I don't know. I mean, even though I don't think Allie is shady anymore, I still feel like she does shady things. So I never really can figure out what she's thinking sometimes. And I don't want to think that Toby is on the A team or is bad. I, I still don't really think that, even though they tried to make us think that. Um, let's see. So Kay says, she was watching someone's recap and they were talking about how Ezra said he was in the dollhouse for two minutes and then Arya's mom said no one was allowed down there. So that can maybe be a clue. Um, yeah, was that something he said last night? Because I may have missed that if so, because that's definitely interesting. Nikki says Toby has been weird lately. Yes, I think he has. I will agree with you. Um, I think he's even acted weird around Spencer, to be honest. But I don't know what that means. I try not to read too much into it because it's so easy to read so much into every single thing every person does on this show because we're all looking for clues. But I'm not really on like Toby's trail right now. Maybe I should be, but I'm not like thinking Toby is a maybe maybe that maybe he is and maybe that's, you know, maybe I should be. Okay. Um a lot of people have asked me about the torture scenes and what do I think the girls went through. And I really don't know. What do you guys think? All I will say is that I think it was very, very traumatic because we see the girls act out in dramatic ways that we haven't really seen them before, except for Spencer, who I'm worried about. And I'm worried she's going to go back um, to taking pills again, which is like the last thing she needs to do because she was doing somewhat better. Glitter Girl says she thinks the only good part was the ending. Sheena says she felt horrible when they showed us what A made the girls do to each other. So warped. They were put through hell. Mona actually had it a little bit better than the girls. I think Mona probably had it better because I still feel like she's working for Charles. That's just my opinion. But yes, awful. So Shalisa likes the theory that Charles is the why, not the who. Maybe Charles dies really young, and that's why there were so many toys in the vault. That video of Charles could be the last time he was alive. I like that. And honestly, I think that that's possibly what they're going to go with. But since we don't know what they're going to go with, we have to assume because they've told us that Charles is A, that Charles is A. So we just go with that. I really don't think Charles is going to be A. And I think that they're going to tell us who Charles is this season. I think they will do that because that's what they said. But then I think that we're going to be kind of disappointed because I think A will still be doing A things <laughs> after Charles is like no longer able to do that. So. That's just what I think. Hey, Cora, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, Livy says, I think that we were told that they had to choose who didn't get water unless I read that somewhere. Are you talking about the stuff that they went through in the dollhouse? Just let me know. So Nikki says that Hannah's mom didn't seem happy that she was back. Hannah was acting very damaged and a little bit mentally insane. Um, yeah, in my opinion, Hannah acted like worse things happened to her or maybe it was just harder for her to process than the other girls because she really like freaked out. I mean, obviously she couldn't have her room look anything like it used to, but I don't think it's an irrational reaction because we don't really know like all the stuff they went through, but I just think for her, for some reason it was more difficult than it was for everyone else, or at least the way she was trying to process it was more difficult for everyone else. Okay, Kay is asking if I think that Hannah was tortured the most. That's why she didn't want to see them. That's what I don't know because we don't really know, like, specifically what happened to everyone. So I am wondering that or, you know, I feel like everyone deals with trauma differently. So maybe she couldn't handle it as well 
you know, maybe they all went through the same things, but she couldn't handle it as well as the other girls. Okay. Um, Relia <laughs> says she thinks they are being zapped and they had to pick who would be zapped. And that's why they didn't want to pick who would be zapped in the chair. Yeah, it kind of looked like that. And that's terrible. And who knows what else they had to go through. So awful. David thinks that Sarah was a third red coat. Um, someone, actually Francois, who's usually on these live chats, tweeted me that he thinks that Sarah is going to be a love interest for Emily. Do you guys think that or do you think she just wanted her help? I think that would be super interesting, uh, but I will say that I'm sick of her, Emily, always getting new girlfriends. Like every time she turns around, I think it needs to go. I think she needs more time for herself. I'm sick of it. She just had like a sort of girlfriend last season. So can we please take some time for Emily? Just take some time for you. Laura says she thought it was interesting that Aria apologized to Spencer. It was, but I still think that doesn't excuse all of her shady behavior last night. I mean, I don't know. Do you think that they are going to go more in depth about Arya being bad and show us more of like a bad side? Or do you think that's like a little one-time thing? That's what I'm interested in seeing. Glitter Girl likes how there was no A clip at the end of the video. Not. So you don't like that. I always wonder why they do that. Sometimes we don't see an A clip. And I'm wondering, there has to be some kind of reason for that. I, I'm just wondering. Like, I, I don't. I don't understand that. Um, Nikki, you keep saying no. <laughs> what are you saying no about? Are you talking about, I know what you guys are saying no about. It's about Emily and Sarah. Please don't let that happen, please. You know, I didn't even think they were gonna go there, but when Francois tweeted me about it, I was like, okay, I can see that. And I don't wanna see that because ridiculous. Um, Nikki loves Maya and Emily forever. I think we're all still holding out hope that Maya is going to come back. I just think that she has way more information than we even know. And I am interested to hear that. Um, I think it's Nad who is hugs and heart is asking, why did Sarah run away? Very good question. I don't know. I mean, I think that it's part of the shadiness of her. That's why I don't really trust her. Uh, Rocker or Tamari does not want Emily and Sarah. Exactly. So Georgia says that Redcoat, Black Veil, Barjack, and all other hidden characters are nicknames or roles of A team members. Yeah, and I've always said that I don't think that A is one person. I think that A has helpers or a team of people. I don't know if they go so far as to give them names like Redcoat and everything, or if he just has people who help him, or he blackmails people to help him, but definitely. And I know I'm missing some of your comments, so if I have not addressed it and it's way up in there, it's because it's going too fast, so you can feel free to just type it in again because I do want to get to everyone's comments but it's going so fast tonight that I can't if I scroll back up there then I'm going to be totally lost um Shalisa says Aria was being jumpy Spencer told Aria A is Charles yet Aria tells the cops Andrew is A yeah like I talked about a little bit earlier she was 20,000 times shady yesterday I was secretly excited because I was like oh my gosh my Ezria theory video is coming true so yes um Nikki's saying the producer said that Maya is alive was that like on Twitter or a website or what? Because I haven't seen that. So maybe I have seen that. But I don't think I've seen that she's coming back for sure. Nad says she wants Ren to be A. I definitely think that's a huge possibility. When I did the video about Ren possibly being Charles, a lot of stuff really added up to make him look guilty. Um, let's see. Mrs. D. Jardy says she thinks Mrs. D is Sarah's real mom and she's not really dead. Okay, I like that. And I definitely think that Sarah is not a random person even though she kind of seems like it obviously Charles wanted to kidnap her for a reason she's definitely connected in some way we just don't know what way so I'm excited to see what her story is okay Sassy says that she thinks it's really Sarah because her friends told Emily that she was seen at a park which is probably Tyler State Park where the dollhouse was and Mrs. D said she saw an alley look-alike at the park okay I also agree with you like I've said I think that Sarah is definitely Sarah and not Bethany. Where is Bethany though? And I really hope they go back to the Bethany storyline because I feel like they've dropped that at this point. Nancy doesn't want Ren to be Charles but wouldn't be mad about it. Um, so Nikki says her friends told her that they've seen it on Instagram and Twitter that Maya is alive. Okay, interesting. So I haven't seen that. So Karen says this is random but she thinks the painting of the Eiffel Tower in Hannah's room was a clue. Hannah sat in front of it. Um, when she was, when there was nothing in her room, it was empty. And when Hannah and her mom were in there. Interesting. So what do you think that clue is pointing towards? Fiona says, 
Toby and I'm gonna scroll up here. I've lost it. Oh, okay. We're brothers and sisters. The goblins uh, were a clue from the movie Labyrinth. Okay. Um, Geneva says Sarah was also hit over the head. That makes three girls hit over the head. Maybe she was there that night. Possibly. And I mean, I just really think there's like a lot more to her story than just some girl that was kidnapped by Charles. Surprised that she hasn't heard any breakfast at Tiffany's reference yet, says Jade. Yes, surprising. Raffaella says that Bethany is dead. I think most likely. I think she's the one in Allie's grave. I do think they need to go back to that storyline. I do think they will. I just don't know. Um, <laughs> I just don't know when. Uh, this live stream is 30 minutes, Libby, so we have 10 minutes left. Nad says who is in the barrel. That's what I was laughing about. Don't think they're ever going to tell us. I'm over it at this point. Michael says I think Beth he thinks Bethany and Sarah are the same person because they both ran away. Bethany ran away from Radley. Sarah ran away from home. I could see that, but then who was in Allison's grave? Sarah looked like the girl who we saw in the reptile house, so she might have been working for Charles. Good point, Emma, or was it just one of A's helpers in a wig? I don't know. When the cops came to get Sarah, there was a painting in the room. Did Bethany paint it? This glitter girl. I don't know. That's a good point because we know she's an artist, so... That was really good. Very observant of you. Um, Kay's asking, didn't they say that Bethany was the one in Allie's grave? I think so. That's always what I thought. So Emily's postcard that came back from Allison's casket had the Eiffel Tower on it. It says, Nikki, really good memory there. And that's completely right. I actually totally remember that. So that is right. So we saw the Eiffel Tower in Hannah's room. The Eiffel Tower is a clue. What is the clue, though, still? What is the clue? I mean, what is that leading us to? Georgia says, was Sarah the new missing girl for season six, or is there another? Because Sarah isn't exactly a new missing person. I've been wondering that as well, and I'm kind of hoping that she is, because I don't feel like dealing with another random person who is missing. Um, maybe it'll be someone who we know that is missing, but I don't feel like it. I feel like if they do another girl story, it'll be Sarah. I mean, a random. So I'm hoping it was Sarah that they're talking about. That is asking what if everything was a dream. I sure hope not. A lot of you guys were worried about that yesterday because it seemed like the reactions, and I will agree with you, the reactions of the girls were just so extreme. It seemed like they were just going to be like, you know, this is just a dream sequence. Uh, Lila, yes, I can just call you Lila. Thank you. So Nikki says Hannah's mom didn't seem happy that she was back. I agree with you, and a lot of people are saying that. Hannah was acting very damaged, a little bit mentally insane. Um, I got you, Nikki. So, yes, she she is. She was she had more issues. We talked a little bit about this earlier, but she dealt with it not well. She did not deal with it like the other girls did. Um, and I don't know why. We're, we're trying to figure out if she had, like, worse treatment or if it was just harder for her to deal with that. Karen, look at you. You're so smart. CC left for Paris. Eiffel Tower. That's it. That's our clue. That's what that means. Okay? That is our clue. That is a CC clue. So, what is up with that? We, we know that Cece is going to end up being a huge part of this puzzle, or at least I think so. But I don't know how she fits in exactly. But very good. You guys are so smart. Like, you're connecting all the dots. This is perfect. Amir asked me what I think about Ali and Lorenzo. I think they'll end up dating. I'm hoping he's not shady. He might be. It seems like every police officer ends up being, like, shady and terrible, except for Toby, I guess. So, I don't know. Uh, Sassy says the painting in Sarah's room looks like it was a painting of a sun and trees. Could that be a painting of Tyler State Park, the last place she was seen? I really like that. Very observant, Sassy. I could totally see that. Deja says she doesn't think the writers uh, know what they want. I feel yeah. I think they have. No, I, don't, I don't even know if they know who Charles is or A is at this point. She says they're getting a little sloppy with not finishing storylines from the show, and it's annoying. And if you go back and listen to some of their interviews, they have said before that they've changed, like, who A is, and they, like, listen to what the fans say. I think that's bad, honestly. Let me be completely honest with you. I think when they started writing the show from day one, they needed to know who their villain or villains were going to be and not keep changing it based on what people are tweeting about or whatever. Ridiculous. Kay says if it was a dream, it wouldn't make sense because how would they know that Bethany was in the dollhouse? Um... I'm hoping, I don't think they're going to go with it being a dream. At least I hope not, but that's just me. Shalisa says she thinks Mona knows who Charles is. I completely agree. I absolutely believe that. I don't think she's working with him, um, which I'm not sure if I believe, but she's, it's interesting she referred to Charles as it, even after Spencer said his name is Charles. Or it could just be like if she was, you know, bullied and treated terribly by him, she doesn't even think of him as a person. 
I think she knows who he is, and I think she's still helping him. Now, that may not be because she wants to help him. She may be being blackmailed and doesn't want to tell the girls. But I don't think that she lived there and all that stuff, and she just, you know, was his prisoner. It's just not, it's just not Mona's, you know, personality. Um, Jay's asking if Marlene's tweet point out that they knew who, that A knew that they were A. <laughs> that A knows who A is. I think so, but she has also said before that they have changed it at times, and they didn't really know at first. Um, Amy says, hoping Cece is not related to Jason, seeing as they dated. There's a lot of scenarios in this show where if certain things work out, then like a brother and sister could have totally dated, and that's creepy. But they have gone with the storyline of a high school teacher preying on younger girls. I kind of think that is preying on younger girls because he dated Allie, and he dated um, Aria, and he knew that Aria was in high school. As much as I do like Ezra, I think that's really creepy. Laura saying it was crazy how Emily knew how to handle a gun. That was crazy, although she's never been on my A suspect list. It was a little strange to know that she knew how to do that. Um, Nikki says in the video, um, Hannah's twin boys, Mike and the other boys. Oh, she thinks it's Hannah's twin, Mike, and then Andrew. We have a baby girl and then two boys. Okay, interesting. Um, Laura says she thinks they've changed A's identity as the show has been renewed for more seasons. That's why there's been so many A reveals. Completely. I think maybe at some time, maybe Toby was supposed to be A. I honestly completely think that they were going to make Mona A. And then they were just like, no, we'll just make it, you know, sort of A, but not really. Like, she was kind of A, but then someone stole the game for her. Um, Jonathan is saying hi. So, hey, Jonathan. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, Lila thinks that Emily might go to the military when the other girls go to college. I think that's a really great thought because you saw her try on the uniform and she admires her father. We, you know, heard from him on the phone. I could totally see that. Sassy doesn't think Charles is a twin, but thinks he's related to the De Laurentiis by marriage. Uh, I definitely think, yeah, we know he's a De Laurentiis. I definitely think that Allie's dad knows who he is. I, I'm hoping we're going to find maybe something out next week because Jason knows who he is. So, yes. Um, do I think Charles is the main AF Livy? No. I think they're going to use that to toy with us. I think they're going to tell us who Charles is this season because they said they will, and I think they will. And then I think that, you know, I think that um, they're going to go back to the stuff where A is still doing stuff, and they're like, oh, my gosh, I thought we found A. I thought Charles was A. And they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, A is still out there. That's what I think is going to happen. Um, so Jonathan thinks that Arya is A, and I don't know if you're just joining us, but we talked a lot about that and how shady she was and how maybe she's working with Ezra or someone or Charles. But Charles, maybe Ezra. Uh, definitely. Okay, what happened to the original characters who were on Mona's We Hate Alley team? Such a great question, Georgia, but we could ask this all day long because she's wanting to know where's Lucas and Jenna, where is Ren, where is Eddie Lamb. I know he's not part of that, but... We could go on for like an hour talking about storylines that have been dropped. Like I should do a whole video on dropped PLL storylines. That's actually not a bad idea. Why did Arya spaz out all the time? Ask um, S. Hayden. I don't know. Um, Amir makes a great point that we've seen a lot. I and mean, we saw like that toy was it sailboat last week with CD. Charles D. Laurentis is what we're thinking, obviously. But C.C. Drake also has the same initials. So completely. C.C. has got to be involved and it's not good. So we have about two minutes left. I just want to remind you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do because that way you can keep up with all my Pretty Little Liars videos and be part of the PLL fam here. Also, all of my social media links down below. Twitter is super important to follow me if you're on there because I live tweet the shows and I also let you know when the latest videos are up and when I'm going to be doing one of these shows so you can totally keep in touch with me there. Plus, I reply to you guys like all the time there. But I also reply to people on Facebook and Instagram, so totally follow me if you aren't already. Um, Lila's asking what the NAT Club stand, uh, stands for. Do we remember that? Because I'm not sure. The NAT Club, what does that stand for? I think that's still a clue, but I hope I think that's still important, you know. I think that's an important piece of this puzzle, but I hope they don't drop it because they've actually dropped that storyline for quite some time. Jay's asking if Ren is Charles. Great possibility. I did a video about that and why I think he's Charles, but I don't know. I haven't seen that deleted scene, Raffaella, where Allison was talking to her mom, but I will totally look that up when we're finished here um, because I didn't even know about that. So thank you. So quickly, Sheena thinks that Mona was manipulated the entire time. I do think that, and I think she's possibly being blackmailed. And she may not want to be bad anymore, but I think she's helping Charles. Um, she's been unstable, so he took advantage of her. 
and how Allie had treated her and helped her become A. Nikki wants me to make these an hour. I know, this really went by so fast. So I do have to do something like right after this, so I'm gonna have to go, but let me know like in the comments and when this becomes um, like a video on YouTube, if you if you really want an hour, if you guys wanna stick around for that, I can start doing them for an hour um, in the future from now on because I don't know, I think that, uh, you know, I think a lot of the, a lot of, we have a lot of things to say now as we're, you know, coming down to the last two seasons. So maybe we need to make it an hour. So NIT is in another language, but it means we see all. Thank you. I knew we had known what that was and I forgot. And Sheena, I'm glad that you could be here today. You and everyone else, it is time to go. Thank you guys so much for being here. And if there was something I didn't get to, um, I know I probably missed some of your comments. Go ahead. And when this becomes a video, just leave a comment or leave a comment now. And I will completely answer you. I'll call back later tonight and answer everybody. Or you can tweet me. But thank you. You guys are awesome. You know I love you. And I will see you next week at 6 o'clock right here on my channel. Bye, guys.